Well, I want to thank my dad for always being there for me, always helping me and supporting me, and encouraging me in everything I do. Even when I was in high school, throughout my high school, he helped me, supported me, and now I'm in college, and I, everything was new, and I was like, and then he has been to a university in US, so he could help me with all that, because, and so I'm really thankful for my dad, and I'm also very thankful to my dad, because you know, every day he wakes up really early to wake me up to go to university, because I don't wake up on my own, <laughs> and then he dropped me, like throughout my school, every day he dropped me off to school, and my first year, every day he dropped me off to university, so I'm really thankful for my dad, and I also want to thank my dad for teaching me how to drive. Where are the kids? I'd like to praise the Lord for my dad, just a wonderful spiritual guy. He's made sure that each of us have been taught in God's word and growing in the faith. And I just praise the Lord for him. And I just realized that my dad has done such a great accomplishment because um, I mean, you read dads in the Bible, Moses, Aaron, Samuel, David, not so good, but my dad was a great dad, he beats them all. <laughs> yeah, um, I'd like to thank uh, my father for um, being there to support me, um, both uh, spiritually, um, financially, school too, whenever I needed to help with something, you know, questions. Um, yeah, he's, um, yeah, it's been, we got through a lot, so, no words to describe him. Yeah, we know, we've got through a lot, a lot, so, yeah, I would like to thank my father for his help in times when my knowledge of logic just isn't enough to help me when his experience could is also the source of justice, let's just say, in our house. <laughs> so I thank my father for the things he's done for me. Somebody would like to speak here for Pastor Mir? You speak. Yes, I'll do that. You <laughs> know what it goes. We praise God for Pastor Mir. And you know he has been pastoring this church since long actually. And uh, you know senior pastors like him are dead to the church. Yes. Yeah. yes. And so we praise God for him. And we praise God for the three wonderful Grown-up children, they have Pastor Mila and Sianpi, and we praise God for their lives, actually, and all they have done for this church and for us. God bless them. I'm old enough to be his dad too. So yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. Just we have a young pastor now. <laughs> pastor Mil is of almost. He's yes. He's. I think more than the age of my dad, actually. Yeah. 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 So he's also there for me. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, where do I start? Um, <laughs> uh, anyone can be a father, but it takes a special person to be a dad, and that's the most special person to me right now. Uh, through thick and thin, he's been on everything with me, and uh, I can't thank him enough. Thanks. Uh, so I have to thank my dad for uh, uh, loving me and uh, always being there for us and uh, helping me with everything all throughout the years. So happy Father's Day. And also my other father also. I want to thank him for <laughs> I 
I like to thank God for giving me such a wonderful dad. Uh, thank you, Papa, for doing everything for me and my brothers and for us. Uh, thank you for being there for us, supporting us, encouraging us, and giving us good guidance. Happy Father's Day. You are the best dad in the world. Yeah. And happy Father's Day to Papa also. And thank you very much for that all throughout the year, helping us, supporting us, encouraging us, and being there for us. Happy Father's Day. I want to thank God for my dad, who's given me such a great dad. Uh, my dad's such a great teacher. All throughout me growing up, he has taught me. And not only in terms uh, of school, but in terms of everyday life. My dad is a great caregiver. Anytime I'm sick or anytime he's been a great, um, he's been taking care of that uh, everything. Even this past week I was sick, my dad, you know, took care of me. He was the first person to make me Theraflu and he's always been like caring for me. So I want to thank God for that. I want to thank God because my dad is um, like a great soldier. He has always protected me from anybody trying to hurt me or anything. He's always been there for me. So I want to thank God for my father. And um, I'm also thinking on behalf of Ravi. He wasn't able to be here because of attending the United Methodist uh, annual conference. So he has asked to thank um, our dad on behalf of uh, him as well. And um, I would also, uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't able to be here on Mother's Day, so I would also like to thank the other half of my dad, my mom, <laughs> for everything, because they, mom and dad are the best parents I could have, and they are um, an amazing parent. So I want to thank the Heavenly Father for such great parents. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> I like to thank my dad for um, giving, making me food and helping me with my projects and taking care of me. Okay, so I would like to thank my dad for always waking up early in the morning to wake me up. I don't know I can't get up sometimes. I would like to thank him for always going out and teaching me stuff that I don't even want to learn. <laughs> it's either electronics, but I really don't care. But I know that's for a reason. I'm going to eat it when I'm older. And of course, thank you. For, and of course, thank you for making me food. I love your cooking. And thank you for always being there for me. Happy Praise God. You know, Daniel is a dad actually. His wife and their kid, they are in Nigeria actually. Still awaiting their turn in the immigration to come and join him actually. Yeah. I know it's painful actually. It is. But we praise God for him being a dad, working hard for his family. Thank you. Dad. And we pray that his uh, wife and child would join him soon actually. Yes. Yeah. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. such a support and a leader in our home. And I just thank God for David and um, 
for our family. And I pray that the Lord blesses her. Praise God. His brother Vinay Patra, Rajiv Patra also, and uh, I don't know brother has uh, children. No, okay. Yes, he is thankful to his dad actually, but uh, he's always, you see, he loves to sing, he loves to share the word, you see. He talks to me about the scripture, and he also has a burden for Orissa, Orissa where he comes from. That's a very needy state on the eastern coast of India actually, and a very persecuted state actually. There was a very yes. terrible persecution maybe two years back actually. So many churches were burned down, destroyed. People were killed and kicked out into the jungles. And it was a horrible thing to say actually. But this man carries a burden for them. And he's been doing what he could do to help the church in our So he's a spiritual He's father. a spiritual father. Uh, I think Lord, the Lord, yes, uh, my father is uh, not dead but alive in Christ, yes, of strength. And he taught me one thing, uh, he's everything, but he taught me one thing think taller than you, think taller than you are. And that what you mean. You can reach beyond what you think you can reach. So think yourself taller. And that is how I'm in the United States. Mm -hmm. See, my father, when he was alive, he did travel more than 500 miles from the village he was born. Not more than 500 miles radius. And I have traveled about four times around the world. Yeah. So, I'm what my father taught me. Yeah. And, uh, thank you, Dad. Someday yeah. I will join you. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you, Dad. Everybody knows Michael, right? Amen. I've known him so much. <laughs> God, and suppose he's with me, he'll be sharing his testimony with the people, you see? Amen. Because he has that spiritual concern within, within his heart, you see? Yes. The way the Lord brought him out of those things that were not needed, his mom prayed for him 15 years. Yes. He came to know the Lord, and now he shares the love of God with so many people. Amen. And so he carries on his responsibility as a spiritual dad. We praise God for him. Praise God. Yeah, my father is not here, but I'm going to say some word for him. First of all, I have to thankful to my heavenly father because I'm his uh, chosen child. Yeah. So that's a very, very, very big thing for me. Yeah. And uh, I'm thankful to him. He gave me such a wonderful dad. He was praying for me for his whole life when I was in a bad situation. Because of him, because of my mother and father's prayer, I'm standing here right now and talking to you guys. Yes. Otherwise, I was buried somewhere long time ago. So, I'm thankful to my father that he gave me, he went through the extra miles. He, he, he completed all his father's duties, but he also went through the extra miles and to take care of me in my dad days. Thank you very much, dad. I'm going to call upon Betty and Julie and anyone else. Your Julie's dad is there at home actually, not feeling well, but we're going to send him a gift. Julie, you want to say something for your dad? Betty, you want to say something about David? Would you like to come or I'll just give you the gift? <laughs> Today, it's 
he's just been a wonderful dad ever since I was a child and uh, the importance of Bible reading and prayer after dinner, that's the best memories I have. And he's always been a very positive force, giving us rights and helping us throughout college and school and always, always on the Lord's side and singing and praising and I, I don't have words enough to say for all that he has given us. Thank you, Dad. I'm going to ask Pastor Emil to pray for the dance session. Yeah. Lord God, we thank you so much for these testimonies that will remind them to us of the awesome responsibility that fathers have. We also have heard the testimonies of the effective Father's prayer for their children. Help us, Lord, to continue to be prayer warriors and not to give in or give up to any circumstances. I pray, Lord, that the bless everyone who stood here today, either son or father, that you bless them mightily. To the special joy, to bless this church of the Father, lead it and guide it to be a for the community. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.